Today we're going to be emptying out eggs and I'm going to be showing you how you can keep them for a really, really long time. I'm going to be showing you the process on two different types of eggs, chicken eggs and pigeon eggs, because those are the eggs I have access to. This process should work with any type of egg, so if you have a pet bird and you want to keep their eggs, uh, this should work for you. I recommend practicing on chicken eggs though because even in this video I do mess up a little bit. Practicing will help you ensure that you don't like mess up the eggs that you want to keep. Uh, so yeah. Let's first go over the materials that I use for like emptying out the eggs. The first thing I use is this ink pen that I got from literally Dollar Tree. It's really useful because not only does it have a point but it also has ridges and those ridges can be used to kind of grind against the sides of the egg. Um, you'll see what I mean in a bit, but it's a pretty useful tool for this specific craft. The second thing they use is this plunger. I have a couple of these um, because I've used them in the past for Kettle's Medicine. I use it more like a straw in the sense that I can blow the air through the egg without actually touching my mouth to the egg. Um, I highly recommend it, otherwise you'll need to put your mouth on the egg and that is not fun. You'll also want like a beaker of sorts or any kind of cup that can catch the egg guts. It will get messy otherwise, you need something to catch the egg. Uh, I can't stress that enough. The first thing that you're going to want to do is have your pointed object, so either what I'm using or like a ballpoint pen or needle, whatever you're using. And you're going to want to poke the top of the egg and kind of chip away at the shell. If you're using a device to like pass the egg guts out of the egg shell, you'll want to make sure that your device can fit inside of that hole, but not so big that there's a lot of space around the hole. Otherwise, it'll be hard to actually flush things out and you'll be more mixing it up. Once you're done chipping away the top hole, you'll want to get your beaker and you'll want to get it ready so that when you start cutting your second hole, it won't um, leak everywhere. As soon as you start cutting that second hole, the egg is going to start leaking out of the first hole you created. So you'll want to have your beaker ready. If you've ever opened canned food before and it gets stuck, you know that you puncture the back side of it and that allows the vacuum to be released and then your food comes out. That's basically the same premise here, so just make sure that you have something to catch the egg. So again, you're gonna just slowly chip away at the eggshell and you're gonna be very careful, of course. I messed up, actually. I chipped away the eggshell too quickly and then I ended up cracking the egg and messing it up a little bit. That's fine, um, that's why we practice. So I just threw this egg away and I started again and I'll show that process too. Um, I'm still using the ridges to like kind of grind away the edges, um, but just know that mistakes do happen, and especially if this is your first time, uh, don't be hard on yourself if you break an egg or two, because I've done this a lot and I still broke an egg, so mistakes happen and it's okay. So once you have your two holes ready, you're gonna get whatever device you're using or just your mouth um, if you're brave, and you're gonna start blowing air through the top hole of the egg. Once you start blowing air through the egg, the guts of the egg should start coming out of the bottom hole, which is where it will get trapped in whatever beaker or cup or whatever thing you're using to catch it. Once you've blown all the insides out, or at least as much as you can, put your egg aside and then discard the egg guts. You'll want to clean out or just get a new device to hold some water in it, and then you'll want to submerge your egg in the water. If your hole is big enough, air bubbles should pop out of the top of your egg. That'll be a, a sign that water is actually going into your egg. You'll want to do this until the bubbles stop, and then you'll want to take the water out of the egg. The best process that I've found is just shaking it rapidly. Um, you'll want to be really, really careful, obviously, because you don't want to like crush your egg or like hit something with water, like nasty egg water, so be very careful. You can also just rinse it under the faucet if you have one. Um, just putting water right down through the egg is a really, really good way to clean it, and that's the way I do it. 
You might notice that a weird filmy thing might come out of your egg and I'll show you with a broken egg here but on the inside of an egg there's like a clear and very thin film and that might come out of your egg, it might not. If it doesn't, don't worry because it'll dry out once you are done with this whole process but if you see some kind of weird goop coming out of your egg, know that it's just um, the lining on the inside, so don't worry. Once you're done rinsing out your egg and assuming that you're using like a fresher egg, then you're done. And you can just put it to the side and let it dry out for a couple of days or if you want to be really safe, a couple of weeks. And then you can store them in any way you want. Now I'm going to repeat the process but with a pigeon egg which is a lot smaller, a lot thinner, and has been sitting out for actual weeks. The process is just a little bit different in the sense that you have to be more careful. But the bare bones of the whole experience are about the same. So just like before, you're going to use your little tool and you're going to poke a hole in the top of the egg. I'm being very, very, very careful um, to not squeeze the sides of the egg because this egg, Kettle's egg, is so thin. Um, so just be extra careful with whatever size egg you're using. Um, the smaller the egg and the thinner the egg, the more careful you'll obviously have to be. So I just did the same thing. I poked a little bit of a hole and then I flipped it and then I poked another hole. Um, and then I ground away, added a little bit. Once I had the hole, I did the same thing and I flushed out the insides. If you blow too hard and too quickly, you risk popping the egg and that would be awful. Um, I know that it's awful because it happened to me, so please take your time. <laughs> For the love of God, please take your time. Once all the insides are out of your egg, you'll want to repeat the same process of filling it up with water and then rinsing it out. Because Kettle's eggs sit around for a lot longer than a chicken egg, um, I actually take a second measure to make sure that her eggs are clean. What I'll do is I'll put some alcohol into the water that I rinse it with and I'll soak the egg in the diluted alcohol mixture. This just makes sure that everything is clean in there and it also helps it dry out faster once you're done using it. Once you're done soaking it in the alcohol, you'll want to repeat the same steps of just letting it dry out and then once it's dried out, you can do what you want with it. Pigeons like eggs in pairs, so I actually had two eggs to work with, so you can see me repeating my process here. This egg gave me a little bit more trouble. Um, the holes were a little bit too big, so I had to rinse it out only using the sink. I wasn't able to blow it out um, with the other method. So just keep that in mind. If the holes are too big, you'll have a lot more trouble. And that's it. I just repeated the same process, and now I have these cute little eggs. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, just let me know in the comments because it makes me feel good and it lets me know that you guys actually like these videos. If you do empty your bird's eggs, um, tag me on Instagram because I'd love to see it. Um, my Instagram is just flat wavelength. Same as it's on my YouTube channel here. Uh, if you want to talk about anything bird related or just talk to me in general, you can join my Discord. And yeah, I'll see you all later. <laughs> Bye!